one is lit up tonight. Um, the other night they had like mostly this side, but one on each side is lit up. Maybe that's all they could do, unless it's a signal for other things to go on the side. Do you want to hold my hand with love? Do you want to hold my hand with love? Anyway, uh, the big gigantic pumpkin skeleton monsters or whatever at the Walnut Garden <laughs> um, lit up a little bit tonight, at least one on each side. So I'm heading over to another address where they have some extraordinary decorations um, over by a place that used to be known as the Cottages, but they tore all them down and they rebuilt these like multi-million dollar homes. They all look the same. They're like part of a townhome complex. And there's like a driveway in between. It's almost like a courtyard, but it's really just a driveway where they park their cars. Um, so like a cluster, like a car show around here for LA or whatever. This is over on Lombard and uh, between 19th and 20th, and I forget the name of it. Is it Uber or Capital? <laughs> so another fine crack. Well, this will be the fine crack show as opposed to the fine art show that was here last weekend so next weekend the 11th and 12th or what have you that'll go on at the same time it's also Yom Kippur um, the second of the high holiday high holiday season high holidays whatever they just had Rosh Hashanah so now Yom Kippur I think it's the 11th and 12th also in Philadelphia there will be um, There will be the Outfest um, on Saturday, I think, the 12th. At least there'll be like a bike ride. So I don't know, often they're on Sundays. So, but I know there's a special uh, DYKE bike ride. Um, takes on bikes. It's, YouTube can be sensitive. And I, I know on Facebook, I actually got flagged for using that word, even though it was in reference to the Dyke March, which actually had a Facebook page. So I think someone was out there who was doing it on purpose. So I had to do a little house cleaning on my Facebook page like two years ago. I was like, who would actually maybe do this? And everything's fine now. Whoever's on my Facebook page isn't an issue. Um, so. I just saw someone I call the philosophical guy for years he's been in this park and I'm, I don't know if he's totally homeless or if he just if he goes somewhere at night but he's usually here I mean for many many years we're talking like 15 but he used to have long dreads like natural dreads but it looks like he has a haircut so something's going on maybe somebody's helping him out I kind of heard this little Fleetwood Mac And also, if you are enjoying the vibe and we're back to church on the Players only love you when you're playing. Oh, I'm sorry, when they're playing. That's so funny. So, that's like 90% of like high school relationships. <laughs> At least where I grew up, most people were players. I never really met too many mature people. It's just, it's kind of a so socioeconomic. Uh, situation. If you grow up in a certain world, you might not necessarily meet the cream of the crop. So, 
We have a theater called Play and Players, Plays and Players, or whatever. It's over on Delancey between um, 17th and 18th. This home here, this mansionist looking, they opened what, 16, 17? Somewhere around 2016 or 17 is when they officially finished that house. Um, they have on the opposite side on Manning Street, this is South Ritten House, and then Manning would run parallel just like, you know, an eighth and a quarter of a block uh, south on the backs of those homes. Um, on the back side of the really nice mansion is home. Uh, they have two very large garage doors that lead to a very large garage space and they had like a special reception when they maybe like an open house party or whatever you call it. A huge, you know, it and cabinetry in there that almost looks like they would have a, like a, a kitchen in there. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure it's um, <clears throat> tools, you know, all that kind of stuff, but anyway, so here we have St. Patrick's, Patrick's Church, or St. Pat's as it's endearingly known, we look at Technically, I don't want to go too far beyond. 19 is what we need. It smells like seafood here. It could be D'Angelo's, I guess. That's a pasta Italian restaurant over there, D'Angelo. Uh, but I'm still, I'm picking up on crab or lobster, um, sure, shellfish, right? I know a few people who are shellfish. Oh, that's funny. Um, so anyway, actually I know many who are. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? Florida, Gainesville, and Middletown, Delaware, and people put on a whole show, and the assumption would be that they weren't until you find out what they're willing to do to have more money than everybody else. I'm sorry my mom had to pay so much just to have a roof over her head to, that would wind up technically in the hands of people who didn't earn it because they would sell a house that she had to pay to live in and never benefit from the ownership of that house. And only man babies uh, benefited from the ownership of that house. That was my aunt's house, but oddly, she benefited from the ownership because <laughs> she was married twice. So, you know, technically, the person contributing most, or, you know, would be her second husband to the whatever homes she lived in after her divorce. And of course, when men die first and the women get to live off of their checks, you know what I mean? So I never learned how to be that kind of person. It would never be in the cards. Um, and I, I don't know if I would feel right. I would feel kind of bad. Unless they put it through a little magic, like, no, you, you know, you rightfully get to live off of. <laughs> People who get to be providers have an easier time of being providers for the most part. You know, there's a lot of people who struggle out there. 